Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a center burst incline ice die. The first thing we need to do is center our shirt using the sleeve inside the other sleeve technique. Push the sleeve inside the other sleeve and then line up the seams that are in the underarm area and also along the shoulder. And then you want to shake it out and you're going to flatten it and smooth it and shake it and smooth it until you get it right. This is the foundation for the tie dye. So this is a very important first step. Using a washable marker and some kite string, mark out the pattern. You want to pleat along this line as straight as possible. So I find for me that if I twist the shirt and keep that line directly in front of me, I have an easier time making it nice and straight. Now that you have the shirt pleated up, it's time to secure it. I'm doing an incline ice die, so I want the ice and the die to run through the shirt. So I'm going to use rubber bands, but you could use kite string if you prefer it. You could even use sinew if you wanted to create white lines in the shirt. But for this particular project, I'm going to use the rubber bands. Continue pleating the shirt, and if you need to add new pleats, go ahead and do that, and then just keep securing it with the rubber bands.
going to use this piece of gutter that I got from the local home improvement store. It was about 10 feet long and I just cut it down into manageable pieces. And I'm using my washable marker to mark out my pattern. So now it's time to add the dye. And these are disposable spoons, but I reuse them over and over again, as I've mentioned in previous videos. I just rinse them off, put them in the dishwasher, and when they're dry, I put them back in the box. I also don't like to use one spoon for multiple colors. I use a new spoon for each pot of dye. I do not want to cross-contaminate. So the yellow swatch says daffodil, but I'm actually using clear yellow. I hadn't swatched the clear yellow out yet before making this tutorial. So I'm just using the daffodil as a color placement. You can use any colors you want for this pattern. If you wanna use daffodil for this, you can, but this is definitely clear yellow. Once you get the dye on the shirt the way you want it, it's time to put it inside of a bin and you want to have one side of it hanging over the edge of the bin and that's going to create the incline. And I started to add the ice and I realized I forgot to do the sprinkle of soda ash. So I stopped, put on my mask, added a little soda ash and then continued to add the rest of the ice. that I'm using is nugget ice and I have a tutorial coming up really soon about the unboxing of this machine I got I absolutely love it I have a link down below in the description box if you want to check it out I got it um, from Amazon I love it so once you get the ice on the shirt and it melts that's when you start the clock and you batch for 24 hours This shirt ended up batching for 48 hours because I just couldn't get to it and that's okay. So you want to start by using cold water and that's going to stop any soda ash that might still be reacting within the shirt. With ice dyes I think it pretty much rinses away during the ice melting but I do it anyways. And then gradually increase the water up to hot and rinse until the water runs clear. From here it's going to go into the washing machine. I do a hot water cycle. I do a second hot water cycle using Synthropol, a textile detergent which comes from Dharma. And then I do a third hot water cycle using Milsoft, 
which also comes from Dharma. And what that is is a softener and it just makes the shirt feel better after going through the dye process. And recently I've been adding a little bit of downy because it just makes the shirt smell better. And then it's going to go in the dryer and we'll see our results. Well, here it is guys here's our shirt after it's been washed and dried and it sure did turn out bright it reminds me of the Sun it looks very fiery up towards the shoulders I sort of see some flames I don't know I really like this shirt typically I don't really go for the oranges and the reds I like rainbows but overall I'm very pleased with this shirt what do you guys think go ahead and leave me some comments down below Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and click the bell for future notifications. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.